In this video, you will learn how to plan cards on your game chart using Placker. On your Placker overview, when you click a board, by default this is going to take you to the board view, but on the top menu, if you click Gantt, you will access the Gantt view. The Gantt view will show you a list of cards and a timeline. The cards that have a due date will automatically appear on your Gantt chart with a one day duration by default, but this can be changed by planning your cards on your Gantt chart. First, let's click Set Order and select By Start Date. Now, we can click and drag a card to reflect the actual start date and make the bar longer to reflect a bigger duration. It is clear now that the research card starts on February 5th and ends on February 8th, having a 4-day duration. This can be confirmed by clicking the card and looking at the panel on your right which shows a start date and a due date for your plan. If the card's status is set to completed, you can also change the actual dates to reflect when the tax actually started and finished. The next card planning could also be changed by clicking and dragging the bar, or by clicking the bar and setting the plan dates manually. If you do this for all of your cards, it will become very visual on your Gantt chart, everything that is being done on your project and the dates when it's happening. It is also possible to use the Gantt chart to reflect the progress of a card. For example, design has started on Monday and has a duration until February 20th on the following week. We can use this triangle to click and drag to reflect the status of this card so far. If you scroll down the panel, you'll see that the progress is set to 60%. Now, if the status is changed from started to completed, the progress will be become 100% and the color of the task will become a darker blue. And this is how you set dates and progress on your Gantt chart. 